Peace, 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 family. Welcome back, all my love subscribers. Welcome to all the new subscribers. If this is your first time viewing me, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Um, cut on that notification bell so that you will not miss any of the messages that I present. Um, you know how I like to open up um the positive way. So we, how you open it up is how you finish it. And how you finish it. So I always like to open up with a positive message and positive vibration so that I can maintain that throughout my video and end it on a positive note. With that being said, my name is No Front Bo. I do, this is my page of creativity. So I drop metaphysical videos, uplifting uh, videos, and me just expressing myself in, you know, a plentiful of ways. But right now, my main objective from the, um, from the guys and from, you know, a spiritual look, my uh, message right now that I'm presenting in my way is just speaking about metaphysics and speaking about just different ways of um, manifesting your dream life. Because I feel like that's what we put here to do is do what we actually make us happy and what helps us, you know, obtain the most happiness that we can obtain every day. But with that being said, family, I'm going to have to spark up. If you don't smoke, don't start. If you don't drink, don't start. Um, you know, whatever help you get through your spiritual path, there are many ways to the um, to enlightenment. So whatever path you take is the correct path that you feel like is the correct path, you know? Don't let anybody misguide you or tell you they way is the only way because there is no one way. And what I do... It's not for you, and what you do is not always for me, you know. And it just, that just each his own, you know, type stuff. But family, when you look at your surroundings, and even when you listen to what was spoken about, was get with the information that was given to us when we were younger, and when we were being programmed to see the world in a certain way. <clears throat> What they try to do is put you on a... It's crazy because I was watching this movie yesterday called Divergent. And if you ain't never watched Divergent, you got to go watch it. It's a cool movie. I watched the first one. Probably get around to watching the second one today. But it was a good movie. And sometimes I might not even watch the second or third because the message got across, you know. And the message I got from it personally after watching it, like I said, it is a good movie. Great movie. Society as a whole, <clears throat> or the people so-called at the top, they like to put people inside of these certain categories. You know, kind of like up in the movie, at least they had people who were business people. Then you had the people who, like your policemen, you had your judges, and then you had your noble people. And it was like four different categories that you can go in and like once you in it you in it for life type stuff they said they gave you the choice because they made you take a test which we had to take test two in school you had to take a test to see where they're gonna put you and based on where you get you can either go with, with where the test told you to go or you can just go to where you choose to go but most people they just go to where the test go because they're not really thinking. They're not built to think. But basically what a diversion was, was somebody who, after they took the test, there was no certain category because they had all the qualifications for each category. Like, they had to go get it. They had to help and they cared for people. They had the judgment to where they seen right from wrong. And they had the, you know, nobleness to know it's all peace, you know, and it's all positivity. So basically, with being a diversion, they couldn't control you because... Some people went into certain categories and then that was them. So all the divergence had to go because they was putting people under this mind control, which they do in society as right now. Put in like certain things, chemicals, even in like prisons and stuff. They put chemicals inside the food to keep them at a certain level. If they doing that to them, you don't think they doing that out here. Yeah, it's not no hormones or antibiotics, but it's other stuff, you know? So... With that being said, just have your own mind, family. Have your own thought process. See, me, I 
look at the judgment from each and every angle that I can. Because there's duality in all, and one size don't fit all in shoes. You know, everybody got different sizes, everybody got different preferences. And it's always good to find your preference and always be guided with your own light and your own soul. Don't let nobody else control or direct your soul to let you know where you want to go. If you got a message from the higher ups telling you to do a certain thing and to do a certain deed, do it so you can uh, go up in spirituality, your uh, spirituality can go up. Because it's levels to spirituality, it's levels to everything. Even in life, you gotta, it's levels. And as you um pass these tests and pass through these phases of life, you gonna level up spiritually and that's when you get to gain more access to you know, the, these certain deities that you might want to speak to or these certain, you really can channel anybody who has been on this plane because no energy is destroyed, it's simply uh, transferred. So you can always channel, you can channel anybody who you want to channel deceased or, uh, or alive in the physical or transcended. But these... Everything around us, it might look like matter. They told us it was matter, but it's really just atoms vibrating at a certain frequency. Everything has a certain frequency level. Everything, the thing that you want wants you back. You just have to be on the same frequency as it so that you can. Let's say that what you want is a, a top, top of the line vehicle. This is what that vibration is because everyone wants that and everyone desires it's a beautiful thing in the uh, galaxy. It's a beautiful concept. It's a beautiful idea. So the vibration of it is so high because so many people thinking about it and so many people want to attain it. Now, when you start, you might be down here vibrationally. So what you're trying to do, it might want you back. You know, it'd be like, all right, you worthy. You a good candidate. I feel like you're going to take care of me. But at the same time, you have to raise your vibration so that you can be on the same timeline as that. Because right now you would never, you might get a car you might just get a car because you vibrating at this level. Yeah, you got, you seen it and you want it, certain things like that, but you still got to raise yourself vibrationally to get to that certain vehicle that you want. Because if you want it, it still might give you a version of it, but it's going to be at a more lower vibration. And then once you got it, you might can raise your vibration to get it, but you still got to be able to maintain it. You know, you can always go up at it. You don't have to go up immediately. But, you know, as long as you see your progress, your trajectory headed towards that goal, then you know you're headed in the right direction. But, yeah. You always want to be aware of these things. You always want to be aware of your vibration. Every day when you wake up, see how, just ask yourself how it feels, even though every day you should be feeling great. Always ask yourself because... You speak to the universe like how you speak to a friend, and the more that you speak to it, the more to listen, the more the uh, bond becomes stronger. And this is how you can speak to your ancestors better. Because once you're more in tune with the vibrations, you can understand the signs that may be coming around you at a certain expedient rate. <clears throat> because even when you got it, you got to recognize it to keep on going. Like, um,. You have to be aware of everything. And the more your awareness, the more you're going to notice, though, like I said, the signs that will be leading you in that correct direction. Because it's a give and receive. It's a give and receive. Just like with a friend, like, you're going to give and you're going to receive, except the universe is going to give you way more abundance. Because they don't know how to, all they know is to do is to give. That's what it was put here to do. Every atom was sent here to become something of use. So when you become useful, that's when it, the universe is going to want to use you, you know, as a vessel, as somebody who it can show its greatness through and show what it's about through because you believe in it and they believe in you. Y'all got a strong bond. I stopped trying to chase the physical. Stop trying to chase the physical stuff. Yeah, think about it what you want to do with it. Yeah, you want the money so you can buy physical things, but you don't have to think about the physical all the time. The universe gives you the physical through the spiritual. 
because you can either try to obtain it through the third dimension or you could go to a higher vibration and let what's at a high vibration naturally come to you. Because that car that you want, that dream car, it's at a high vibration. And the universe want to give it to you. The universe wants you to have everything that you want. But you got to want it for yourself also. You got to want to do right. You got to want to be able to go through these because depending on what your vibrational level is, this is the whole reason I even did the lesson today. The whole reason, because like I said, every day we go through these phases and you might have 10 phases in one day, basically like 10 pop quizzes in one day of life. Like that one day, we're going to call it a day, but it's really a... um. It's a. It's basically like a light cycle. Every day is like a light cycle, and you gotta stop thinking so much of what well, we gotta stop thinking of so much of as time and like oh, twelve p.m. Like no, it's just simply a light cycle, and that light cycle might have like I said, I ain't gonna say ten. I'm gonna say three challenges. It might have three challenges during the day, and depending on what your vibrational level is, it's gonna judge how that test go because. That's the test that you're trying to do every day is keep your vibration up. Everything trying to pull it down, even without you knowing. That's why you have to put your spirit that's why you have to put your spiritual protection on in the morning. And if y'all know about spiritual protection, you need to know about it. Because people are trying to get at you psychically all day. And if you don't have your protection on, then you will be vulnerable to whatever they send at you. And I'm gonna give y'all one right now. As far as um, you know, protecting your spirituality and protecting your mental, because a thought is simply a light wave, just the same thing as it's a light wave that's connecting to your radio, or it's a light wave that's connecting your TV to the radio station. I mean, to the TV station, so that you can get television. Or how when I'm getting to you right now, it ain't simply it's simply a a light cycle. It's a light wave that's connecting my stuff to yours. So on the mental plane, it's a, a light wave. So even if whenever I think about something or if I think about it for long enough, that that's, the signal is going to be stronger. The more you think about it, the signal stronger and it's stronger and it's stronger. It's because you t you tapping into it on a, a light wave and it has a physical, it has a physical, it has atoms in it. So your atoms connecting with its atoms. The more you think about it, the more you tune to that frequency that you want. Same thing on the radio. You tune into it, it's going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. The closer you get to it, the more you attune to it. But you could be attuned to something that's going to start cracking up and it just let you know that you need to change your direction or change up your tone. Something that you're tuning to, so you're supposed to be listening to something else. Something else that needs to be picked up now. But you always want to you always want to be um, attuned to everything because, like I said, it's a test every day to keep your vibration up. That's the whole test of the whole thing. So, like I said, once you pass, it's three phases through all day. You got one, two, and you got your third phase all day. Depending on what your vibration is, that's going to pick how that outcome of that. Because every version you exist, you look the same, but on a, di on a different plane, but you exist on all. Everything exists at one time. So, just imagine you and like a thousand others of yourself all on top of each other, a plane of existence, but different vibrations. Then you got your higher self at the top of that certain one. You still got your higher self, and then you you got a hierarchy of selves, you know? So through that vibration of love, you got, I don't like to call it so much love vibration, but you got, because it's still you. It's just a vibration that you're in and that, um, that timeline, that frequency, that dimension. Stay with me. So, at these vibrational levels, the experience is different on each one because you you experience all of it at once. You experiencing everything, but you still more connect. Right now, you connected in this body because this is where your um, this just where that perception is. This is where your viewpoint is at this certain time. So. Let's say that first person wake up in the morning, it's at a low vibration all day. 
it's going to experience all the little vibrational things all day. It might, let's say you're supposed to wake up at, you had to wake up at 8 o'clock, you're going to wake up at 9. You might wake up at 10. You might uh, do something, you might leave something very important behind just because you at that, just because they had that low vibration. You may um, be in the car and then just, the top, you know, things just happen because you at that low vibration. You got your mid person who is vibrating at that mid level. He's doing certain things in his, he might not be as aware as you, you know, because awareness only come as you vibrate more because everybody vibrating on different planes, you know? That's what I was gonna speak about today too. It's different type of planes that um you got your, um you can start off with the, the minerals, which is gonna be our crystal plane. Then you have um the plants, which can't move. So you got the plant phase and with the plants, like with the with the minerals, they don't think they just uh be, you know, they just are. You feel me? So when they just being themselves, they simply just are. They can't move. They but with plants, they are aware of what's going on. They just can't move. They just live. They just be. If an acorn fall off a tree, it just hit the ground, and it just be, and it just. It's gonna grow, it's gonna adapt, it's gonna do, it's gonna think, it's gonna tell the universe it wants certain things, you know, to grow. Next is gonna be the um you got the animal plane, which animals can move, they think, but they only they still don't vibrate high and they live on a, a very fit they live on the physical way a lot. And with the um the 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 last one is the uh the human plane, which you know, you physically that, you can raise yourself spiritually, you can move, you can think, you ask the universe for stuff to grow, and you can just be. So, but everybody not vibrated on the human plane. Some people vibrating on the um the uh mineral planes. They don't they don't think, they don't move, they don't do nothing. They just most likely they just in the house all day, they don't think about nothing, they just probably you know. It's hard to, it's tough to think about, but it's true in this real life. And that's what we're here to talk about, you know, just to, to open up your mind, open up your spirituality so that you can grow. You can be more aware. <clears throat> Some people living on a plant phase. Yeah, they growing, but they're not moving. They still stand where they at. They still stand where they be. And you know, these people, they always, they like, you already know where they at. They on that same, same stuff they've been on, you know? Don't want to grow, don't want to change, you know. And some people happy with vibrating on that level, and you can't really change them. Some people living on the an on the animal plane, which is like they only eat, sleep, you know, those three. Eat, sleeping, mm, feel me? That's all they do. And they might um, <clears throat> they might move around a little bit, but they still vibrate on such a low level intellectually and everything. They don't really think they live like. You know, they think like some animals, like literally. And that's not where they're supposed to be vibrating. So they're going to eventually be having to come back because they're not vibrating high as they need to, to be, to move on spiritually and move up as far as the axis. And even on the, when every going to fifth dimension and these six dimensions, because the dimensions that you can go to, go up to like 33 and beyond. There's so many dimensions and vibrations. That's why once you get up to these certain level of vibration, you can do superhuman things and uh, overman things, they like to call it. <clears throat> and I just have found out some, like, you know, good. But with, with sign language, when you hit when you hit this, what you're doing, it's actually an S. That's why Superman got the S on his chest. Because Superman is really, they painted him to be a white, you know, a white person. But he really a black person the, as far as, like, the metaphysical power that he have, you feel me? So when they throw this up like this, this is really a S in sign language. So when you throw this up, you're really putting up the letter S and it just remains super, remains strong, you know? So many superior words 
that got the S. It's a powerful, it's a powerful um letter. It's one of the most powerful, dangerous things in the world got the letter S. It's a snake. The most venomous thing in the world, you know, it, it can get you gone, you feel me? But with that being said, family, it's been 20 minutes. So I'm going to get on up out of here. And the more that y'all, you know, like, comment, subscribe on the longer videos, it's going to let me know that y'all actually attuned with the videos, even if they are long. Because I feel like I didn't want to make them short. But if y'all enjoy the long ones where I can really open up my mind and really go into more depth on these things, I might stretch it out to, you know, longer and longer periods. It just depends on how the likes look and how the comments look and keep the comments positive. You know, everyone want to see positivity. I'm not going to be the type of person to delete comments and all that, but because, you know, that's the energy that you put out. That's the energy you're going to receive. That ain't me. That's, you know, you. You are a reflection of me. So if I delete you, I'm deleting, you know, myself, and I ain't going to do that. So what it is is what it is. But... Keep the comments positive, you know, um, but continue like, comment, subscribe, and welcome to all the new people. Like I said, if this is your first time viewing me, I am No Front Vo. Peace to all the gods and goddesses of the planet. Go ahead and uh, follow me on some of my other social medias, my Instagram, No Front Vo, um, my Twitter, at Travis McKnight One, or something like that. Like, you'll see it for sure, No Front Vo. Awesome. And um yeah, until next time, family, keep working on yourself. And um, I want to give y'all uh, something to work on. Like I said, I'm going to give y'all something to work on every time. And today, I just want people to, well, people who join me, hopefully it's more and more people that can work on themselves. But I want us to, as a family to just work on trying to give more direction to our astral travels. And your astral travels is going to be when you're trying to when you're going to sleep, and that's what basically what your visions are. You astral traveling to different dimensions, different planets, different points of your timeline. It just all depends on your awareness and you understanding where you at, you know, at all times. Because the energy, the energy not going to lie. You're going to know when you wake up, you're going to know what time period it was in. And go with your first mind, you know. Don't overthink it for sure. Just go with your first mind. But always try to tell your... So will you like it to travel because it is yours and it is listening to you at all times. It is conscious. It's keeping your heart beating, keeping your blood flowing, uh, even when you sleep. So just always give it recognition because it's doing it's doing it's supposed to do even when you are not there. Or when you not fully aware of what you got going on. It's still there. So recognize that it's always there and it's always listening. It's always for sure. It's like your best friend. So always talk to it in a positive manner and get, give it love and light. <clears throat> but with that being said, family, peace, peace, peace. Till next time, I say, I say, I say. This message has spread beyond the bounds of the universe. Peace.